Hi everyone, I am Freely Hero, and welcome to today's episode where I'm going to be reviewing the Hard Truths FMG and also provide you the ideal god roll for you to get. The Hard Truths is a legendary 750 SMG that can be only gotten through the Crucible drops or Aiden One's augmented Crucible bounties, as they are indeed drop. It's a nimble but aggressive weapon frame, capable of dropping players or enemies alike within a few seconds once in your range, and is a great backup weapon for finishing those who like to make a runner when low on health. Strangely, this is the only SMG in game with one of the lowest stabilities, reload speed, and aim assist there is in game. And because of this, many people off the bat won't acknowledge it to see what its true worth is like. Now you see, this weapon has a very high uncontrollable recoil for an SMG, and makes it near impossible to land most shots. Combine that now with load magazine and reload speed, and you have a sort of gimmick weapon. But, like all weapons, they can be tuned, improved, and made better through a bit of research on our end and just to see how they become more flexible. So firstly, let's look at what we're dealing with. It has an impact of 22, a range of 45, stability of 15, handling of 52, reload speed of 28, aim assist of 27, recoil direction of 80, zoom of 13, and a magazine of 27. As you can see with the stats, its stability, reload speed, magazine, and aim assist is where its main weak points lie, and these weak points are a no-no for any type of SMG, as they become unbearable to use even within its given range. When I first saw this weapon, I wanted to see why such a weapon existed, and maybe if there was a hidden or unique feature to it that we didn't know about. And from testing and general playing, I found that this weapon succeeds well in PvP in one-on-one -on -one fights, either for starting or finishing fights, and a great counter against pulse rifle, hand cannons, and shotgun users when within your effective range. And that is around 5 to 7 meters, sadly. But the cons outweigh the pros, and for such a weapon like Hard Truths, its four main downside is where most SMGs succeed well in, and why most people will avoid such a weapon. Now of course we are limited in terms of perks to make the weapon more effective, but we can still make the weapon useful if you just put some practice into it, and also pray to the RNG god to get a good roll. Firstly, let's focus on the masterwork, and in our case straight away you will want to have a stability plus 10. This is a no brainer as the weapon has one of the lowest stabilities in game, and even though you have to be up close anyways with it, the weapon fires all over the place and makes it hard for you to land headshots and most body shots. Plus, with your limited amount of ammo, you can't necessarily miss 50% of your shots, as the reload will screw you over. It's not a lot, but it's a better spot to work off of, rather than having a reloading speed plus 10 or a handling plus 10. Forget all the other masterworks and do yourself a favour and make sure you get a roll with stability. Do trust me on this, as stability is a key component in terms of making this weapon a better roll for you. For the scopes, we are limited down to just 4, and sadly, number 4 offers a further enhancement for reloading, stability, magazine style, or aim assist. Instead, we get a range and handling increase instead. Now, range is always good for most weapons, and for some SMGs, can allow you to drop targets at a slightly further distance, while handling is an all round great perk to have for any weapons. So, IS2 Classic is a good scope to run with, which offers a plus 5 in range and a plus 10 in handling, even with a bit of flexibility in both stats while IS-5 Classic offers a plus 15 in handling, which is useful, but with the amount of handling you already have, might not be that noticeable in action. I would say the IS-2 Classic would offer more on the table for spread stats, but range on this specific weapon isn't that great because of recoil control, so IS-5 Classic is best run with, in my opinion. Now, within perk column 2, we have a vast amount of perks to pick, some offering the necessary buffs we need, while others not so much. The ones we have is Alloy Magazine, a great perk for any weapon that uses up all the ammo and quick recession. For the hard truth, this would be a perfect for a slow reload, as it allows you to take on more than one target at a quicker pace. Weak Shade Round offers an increase to range by plus 5 and stability by plus 10, and this is a no brainer perk, as this weapon needs all the stability increase it can get, just so you get better in 1v1 fights. Next, we have Flare Mag Rule, another perk that's a no brainer, as it can help with bumping up both our stability and reload speed by a significant margin. Although the buff stability is only plus 5, the reload speed gets a plus 15, which more or less makes the weapon slightly more viable now, but not 100%. The other perks I left out don't fit well with the weapon in its current state, as we need to focus on fixing the underlying issues the weapon faces. Perks such as Extended and Pendant Mags do have their use for the amount they give for the magazine. And the minus attraction the extended mag gives to us is best to be left alone. AP rounds and HD rounds are also good, but not for this weapon at the moment, as the console weapon outweighs the two pros the perks offer. 
Now of course, that's a subject to change, you can always go ahead and test this out if you feel like it's best part to go with, but personally for me, it's best to focus on the underlying issues that the weapon currently has. And then once you fix these issues, then you can be a bit more flexible in terms of other perks that, be, that are a bit more suitable in terms of your playstyle. Now within perk column 3, same as perk column 2, it's slightly limited in terms of usable perks, but nonetheless they're still usable. We have under pressure, a viable perk to have for any We have under pressure, a viable perk to have for any high rate of fire weapon, can be extremely useful in that case, as it will gradually center the SMG and allow your shots to connect, which for our weapon is a perfect match. Then we have Zen Moment, another suitable perk to have for such a weapon. It works wonders for boosting stability and accuracy every time you land a shot, and considering that you're going to be up close with the weapon, it will allow you to be more free in terms of picking other perks that could offer more damage or fast reloading or etc for example. Next up we then have Moving Target, a perk which can enhance our movement speed and increase our target acquisition while ADSing slash moving. Now although it sounds great to have, it's not a perk I would choose straight away for the weapon unless I have my stability at a reasonable level. Such a perk pairs well for SMGs for being sticky and finishing targets quickly, however this is the only case if the stability for the weapon is around average to high, so 40 to 50 to even sometimes even 30 ranges if you're lucky. Hard Truths now struggles to reach that and unless you get the perk to push it up a bit more higher than where it currently is, it won't benefit the weapon that much. But this also depends as well as to how close you plan to be with using this weapon in most fights. As if stability and recoil control isn't that much of a problem for you on your end, then this is a go-to perk to grind for. Now the final slot for perk column 4, this one should finalise the core weapon and perks so you can freely utilise the whole weapon. At this point here, you should be picking perks that are, I would say, a bit more beneficial for you. Something that actually fits into your playstyle. Now of course this is all RNG so you can't pick the final perks, but these are the perks I would recommend if you were to roll one with the similar ones that I have to offer. So firstly, I have Dynamic Sway Reduction. Any weapon that has high recoil will need this perk for better accuracy over time. For the hard truth, this can be a godsend for better accuracy, and when paired with high stability, it can make this weapon a lethal choice for most PvP fights. Next we have Tap the Trigger, which provides a boost to stability and accuracy on the initial shot, which is handy for weapons that have a high recoil direction when fired. On some SMGs and ARs, this is a needed perk as the first shot made is usually the deciding factor into whether the rest of your shots will land and take out the target. The hard choose in this case would benefit a lot from this as its limited magazine size and recoil places the user on a disadvantage against others, even within its effective range, so having such a perk can help with rectifying an ongoing problem. And then lastly we have Threat Detector. A ideal perk for PvE focused content only, as this is where the perk will most likely be active the most. It offers an increase to your stability, reload speed and handling, all three being a pro for the hard truth as this is where the weapon is at its weakest. For PvP it's also good but 50-50 to have as you won't be engaging two or more people with the hard truths because of the low magazine size unless you know what you're doing in this case. Now all the other perks I left out don't offer much to the current standing of the weapon as they don't provide extra benefits to the weapon's stats. Now kill clip for example is always nice to have on any weapon if it has decent to fast reload speed to make full use of. For the hard truth this isn't much of the case as the reload speed is much lower than most standard SMGs so by the time we reload the perk will be finished. The same now can be said for high impact reserved which is useful thanks to the low magazine size However, it's best to avoid if the main stats that need to be focused on aren't improved on first. Extra damage is nice to always have on any weapon, but improving the weapon where it needs to be improved on is much more important and much more efficient on your end. So now we've gone through all the perks to make the weapon better. We have a look at what the perks is best to run with overall for the weapon, like a god bolt, and in a way we've now come to a conclusion to see which is best to run with, or ones that you should ideally look for in terms of picking up the stats that is best suited for you, if you get lucky or not. So here what I've got. So I have Masterwork with stability being plus 10, I have Scopes being IS2 Classic or IS5 Circle, I have Column 2 being Flare Mag Rule or Ricochet Rounds, Column 3 being Zen Moment or Under Pressure, Column 4 being Dynamic Sway Reduction or Tap the Trigger, and the mods is entirely up to you at this point. The vast majority of the perks chosen focus on the one thing that makes the weapon unusable for the melee, and that is the stability. The recoil control for the weapon is unbearable to use at any time, and it really needs as much support for stability to make it at least viable against others. 
If you can improve this one area through any means necessary, then you have a very viable weapon to use in both PvE and PvP. If you get lucky and get a vault that has some of the following things I've mentioned, then we'll say you've got yourself a good god vault. Of course, this still leaves you with weapon mods and armor mods to play around with that can also help with boosting the weapon's performance. But this is more of a self-explanatory area for you to, well, delve into. So now, that comes to the end of the weapons review video and a god vault episode. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did enjoy it, then do leave a like, a sub, and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload, as I would appreciate a lot if you do. But like always, thanks for watching, Guardians, and I hope to see you again soon.